Hey guys, this is Quinn, that's Nazi iPhone Guy, and this is the video review of the Or Object Sphere Touch from OrObject.com. Now it comes in three models, uh, steel, titanium, and platinum. Uh, the steel runs you $155, and it is uh, finished stainless steel. The titanium, which I was sent for review, is $175, and that is stainless steel with a titanium coating. And then there's the platinum version, and that is $225, and that's again just stainless steel with a platinum finish. Now, uh, as I go into it more, I would think that although it doesn't look the prettiest, the steel is the most practical because uh, the titanium picks up a ton of fingerprints, and I can only imagine that platinum is worse. So, uh, you know, pick your damage, but uh, there you go. Uh, the weight is very heavy. This mouse is a beast. Uh, it's 8.29 ounces, approximately, but that's really heavy. Um, it works with Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and Mac OS 10.4 or later. Um, so let's break into this box and I'll show you what Or Object is all about. Okay, so this is my second reshoot of the review. I did it a few days ago, but uh, it didn't work out too well because of rendering issues. Anyway, point in case is I apologize for the, uh, the lighting. It's not very good, but hopefully this will serve its case. So uh, there's just this sliding sleeve right here. The casing is very much like Apple packaging. It's very nice. Uh, I mean, it's layered foam. They spent quite a bit of time and effort into making this look really sharp. So there's the mouse itself. Uh, that is the titanium version. We're just gonna rip this part out show you what else is in the box. So it is not wireless, it is a corded mouse, uh, which I personally prefer because uh, it's a bit, little bit tr faster, especially when you're gaming, you'll notice that the wireless mouses are a little bit delayed. Um, so it comes with this. I'm really not sure, in all honesty, what this is for. Uh, there's like a microfiber carrying pouch, but this is something else. They come with two of them. So there's this one and uh, I don't, there's no enclosure. So I imagine this is just kind of like a cover for it that you would pop over the top. It comes with this uh, little quick start guide. It comes with a silica gel or a lime desiccant. So you don't eat that. Um, it comes with this, which is the nicer carrying pouch. It's a cinch cover. And uh, I don't really know what this pocket here is for. I imagine it's for the end of the USB cord to jam in there, but I'm not sure why they designed it like that. But uh, it's really soft and uh, very, you can tell they put some time and effort into making it nice. So there's that. And then uh, there's the literature for the rest of it, warranty and manual information. And there you go. So that's all that's in the box and let's get started with the mouse. Okay, so there's the mouse. As you can see, it's very sexy, very reflecting, uh, all that good stuff. The cord itself is nylon, and I'm not sure I'm a fan of it, in all honesty, because it's very rigid, and it doesn't have a lot of leeway. With the typical mouse, it's kind of rubbery, and you have room to move it around, kind of like this. This, oh, you can't see that. But the point is, is most things allow you to move it around. With this mesh, there's not a lot of leeway. It kind of keeps its form and stature, which when it gets in the way of something, is really quite annoying. So. Uh, I'm not too big a fan of the cord, which is really distracting because when the cord is what's in the way the whole time, it gets kind of annoying. So, but you have a stainless steel, uh, same kind of deal, stainless steel titanium coated uh, connector to the USB here. So we're just gonna plug that in. And there we go, we're in, and uh, we've got our mouse hooked up. Uh, it's in touch mode right now. That's one thing about this mouse is it comes with a click mode and a touch mode. The click mode is pretty cool. Um, not the most elegant, but, and I'll get to that. It's not quite as, as spot on as it could be. And then there's a touch mode, which is really cool once you get used to it, but I do have some gripes about that also. So let's get started with the click mode. Um, this mouse is really heavy. Um, that's one thing to say at first. It's like almost uncomfortably heavy. You would not want to lift this up if, what it's meant to be used on is a hard surface. You're not supposed to use a mouse, a trackpad with this mouse. See, that cord's already getting in the way. It's not supposed to be used with uh, a mouse pad, and that's 
because um, there are ceramic feet on the bottom here, 10 of them to be exact, and they just help it glide across hard surfaces. Uh, they also allow the hard surfaces to take the weight of the mouse. These ceramic feet are very nicely and very well done and well placed so that you're not going to have problems scratching up the surface of your desk. So uh, I've used this on brand new desks with very glossy, very sensitive kind of coatings. And it has scratched a tiny bit, but not that's normal wear and tear. So uh, not bad at all. So the ceramic feet I'm quite fond of because you don't have to have a mouse pad. So you just kind of move it where you need to move it. I hate mouse pads how you have to pick up and I've never been a fan. So the fact that this works well on a hard surface is a huge plus for me. Okay, now the scroll wheel on this is very interesting. It's not uh, lateral like most of them. It's actually a horizontal uh, wheel. Now at first this was really weird and really awkward for me. However, I became quite accustomed to it and I'm actually pretty fond of it now. Um, rather than having to you know, put extraneous work on one finger, it's just kind of elegant and gently on one finger. You can go up and down without much problem and you can change the sensitivity on your computer so that that much can be a ton. I have it just kind of like this, so that's like a normal pace, but you could make this the whole page or you could make this the whole page, you know? So that's why sensitivity is nice because you have the ability to move it around. So let's go to www.engadget.com so you can see this uh, scroll wheel in action here. We'll zoom onto the screen and turn the brightness down. Okay, so uh, as you can see, my mouse is right there. My cursor, can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm moving that around right now. It's got a very nice scroll speed. Now this has a laser uh, inside of it rather than uh, it being optical with the red light. Uh, why I like laser is very simple. It's extremely accurate. Um, optical can be kind of jittery, but uh, this laser is just so smooth. It's like it just goes exactly where you want it to. There's no problems, no glitching. You can pick it up and move it. And it's not like you move it a ton and it moves really erratically. It's a very smooth motion. Uh, the laser Laser's pretty common in nicer mouses now, but if you still get like a mouse bundled with something, it'll be optical. Like this nice Logitech mouse I have, uh, this is a laser mouse. Uh, the new Magic Mouse from Apple is laser, but like the old Mighty Mouse, that's an optical. So uh, laser is more expensive to implement, but it's excellent when they do because uh, you can barely, probably, you can probably never see it. You can see a little red light, but it's much more discreet and uh, it's a lot more accurate. So. Going to this page here, you'll be able to see the lateral scroll wheel. So I mean, that's pretty, pretty nice. You just scroll right here to do it. I, rather than scrolling all the way around, I just go like that. And it's really, really nice, actually. Um, it's not as uncomfortable as one would think. It's really odd at first. However, now it's uh, a lot more easy to use and I've gotten used to it and I actually prefer it to the uh, regular system. Now, the mouse clicking, um, I'm not a huge fan of. It comes in click and touch mode. Click is not my favorite because it's not very ergonomical. Um, ergonomic, there you go, ergonomical. Uh, because when you use a mouse, you normally would use it like this. Well, guess what? These buttons are only accessible from the bottom and from this, like this kind of area. Oops, I'm opening windows. i to go to a blank space, okay. So there we go. Um, you can touch it here and here, but here, where one would probably normally touch it, like me, it doesn't work. And that's really irritating because you have to move your hand up on the mouse. And this kind of enclosed feeling, I'm not a fan of. I like just lightly touching it. I'm kind of a magic mouse kind of liker user. Like this mouse, I've gotten very accustomed to this mouse. I don't, I don't palm it or anything. It's just very gentle kind of, um, you know, it's very light. It's not a huge enthralling mouse. And this one, when you have to totally grip it like a monster, I'm not a huge fan of that. Now, I've used it quite a bit and I still can't get used to it because I'm just used to holding it like this and clicking up here. But unfortunately, that's not very accessible. You have to move down and I'm not too much a fan of that. The actual spherical design looks really sweet, <laughs> looks really sick, but it's a problem when you try to, uh, you know, get the right position on it. If I leave the mouse like this, I'm gonna grab it and I have no idea where my buttons are. This is really bad on touch and I'll show you how erratic it gets. Is there's no way to indicate, unlike this one, 
where you can just kind of feel where you're supposed to be due to the like the concaveness and the form of it. This is just a ball. And when you grab the ball over here, you have no idea until you start clicking stuff and then you're, it's a disaster. So the fact that I don't like, there's an easier way to tell where you are on the, you know, on the mouse. I'm not a huge fan of that. See, this is, I'm normally holding it. This will not click. I have to physically grip down further. And then when you go to scroll and then to grip down again, it's not very, it's not very logical. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, now we'll switch to touch mode and show you uh, the touch mode, which I really like. Um, there are still com some complaints with it, but I like it quite a bit. There are people here. Okay. So now I'm going to show you touch mode, which I've actually really grown to like, but at first it was really, really irritating and uncomfortable for me. And my family still hates this mouse, but I've started to like it quite a bit. So you can scroll here just like normal. And when you go to touch something, we're going to use my hand as a trackpad, my arm. Okay, so we're at the Engadget show now. Now that I want to touch it, I click it once. Did you see that? It was just a tap. Just a tap. Just a tap. And it's very, very nice. With right clicks, it's the same. Just a tap. It's very, very nice, and there's not a lot of work that's needed to be put into it. But in the same instance, you still have that problem of gripping the mouse in the same wrong position. See, if I grab it in the wrong spot, it just absolutely freaks out. Um, and it becomes really erratic and really, see, you see that? And then if I go and grab it at the wrong spot, see that I just am moving when I have no, I don't even know what this is. I don't know how to get out. What the frick? Adjust the shape of a clip. I've never even seen this before. What is this? Whoa, it puts it in dashboard. Okay. Anyway, now that I'm discovering things, uh, that was really weird. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, you see how I did a bunch of stuff and that's because I just gripped it in the wrong place. I started right clicking when I didn't mean to, and you move a tiny bit and you start opening tons of stuff, which you're like, no, 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 wait. And that's the same problem is, when you grip it in some random spot, that's what happens. And that's the biggest limitation is you need to know exactly where you need to grip it or else you're going to have a crap load of problems. So that was a huge woe for me and I was not a fan at all of that. Uh, I eventually got used to it, but still, I mean, there will be times where I grab it in the wrong spot and I start doing crazy stuff. I have no idea what it is. And when your mouse is just wigging out, that's a huge pain in the butt. And you're going to have to close all the crap you open. And uh, that I feel like was a design flaw. The sphere itself, I'm not a huge fan of. I love the touch implementation. I love this lateral scroll wheel, but I think they should have gripped it. Even just a little shaving here, like a little molding for your finger. So you know where to hold it rather than it just being a ball and you're gripping in some random place and you start touching everything. So that was my biggest woe about this mouse. Um, another woe about it is it gets quite a few fingerprints. I wash my hands right before this review so I don't have much stuff to spread around. But uh, when your hands are dirty, it just is an absolute disaster. So uh, you have to be able to adjust and conform to this mouse rather than the mouse conforming to you. So that's a limitation I wasn't very fond of. My final review on the Or Object Sphere Touch is a six out of 10. Um, the mouse itself is really nice, uh, looks gorgeous. I love the horizontal scroll wheel. That's my favorite feature of it, and I wish every mouse would use it because it's just a brilliant idea. And it was really weird to get used to at first, but now I'm not sure I'll be able to go back. Um, so I really like that feature. It looks sharp, feels sharp. Um, you know, it's, it's a great mouse. The laser tracking is excellent. It's very accurate and very fast due to the USB cord. Now, there are a few things that I absolutely hate. One is the cord. It does not bend, it does not move, and it just gets in the way. I'm constantly moving the cord out of the way, and that really doesn't make your experience better. So am I gonna pay $175 to move the cord out of the way? No, which is what I hate about this mouse the very most. Next is it fingerprints like crazy. If that bothers you, which it does me, it'll drive you absolutely insane. If you don't care about that kind of stuff, you know, whatever, it'll be a great mouse. But for me, ah! I would much rather get the steel one than the titanium. I would spend 20 bucks less and get a mouse that looks just as good and get a mouse that I can use without worrying about what it looks like and being bothered and constantly looking at how nasty it looks because I haven't 
cleaned it off in 25 minutes, you know? So that's another thing I'm not a huge fan of. The next is, uh, there's no way to really tell where you're gripping the mouse. And that's a huge problem on the touch setting because you grab it in some random space and it just clicks like crazy. And you're like, no, 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 wait, what am I doing? So I really, really do not like that feature. That's the other, that's my second biggest woe is you just grab it and you have no idea where it is. Um, the other limitation is when you're using the click mode, if you click up here, nothing's gonna happen. Even if you click right here, nothing's gonna happen. You have to move to 50% or lower, and then you're gripping the mouse like a bear, and I don't really like that. So I do like the fact that they implemented both things in there for you to be able to choose. Um, I love, I love, I love the heft and the weight of it. It feels really, really sturdy, durable. I don't think anything's gonna fray or break anytime soon. It's built really, really solid. And, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, OrObject.com, they're hand assembled. Uh, this is the titanium version, which will run you $175. Final review, six out of 10. Decent mouse, few things I don't like, but if you can overcome them, it'll be one of your favorite mouses ever. So uh, this is Quinn, that's Nazzy iPhone guy. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later.